Hello boys and girls, this is Miss Tabitha and today we are going to be doing Picasso portraits. Um, we are going to start with what kind of materials you are going to need. We are going to need some blank white paper and some construction paper, a stencil for your face, and a pencil, but for seeing purposes I'm going to be using markers, and scissors, glue, and whenever you've gathered all of your materials, we can begin. So we're gonna start with tracing out our face. So. And once you have done that, we can start adding details like our once you've got your face shape, we can start doing details like your eyes, your nose, your mouth, and the little spaces in your ears. And whenever you're doing the eyes, make sure that they're like even on both sides, symmetrical. That means whenever, if I flip this, it will be the same on this side, on both sides. And once we are done with the basics, the nose, the mouth, the ears, we're gonna go into more detail if you need, like the eyelashes, the eyeballs, the eyebrows. And if you have any freckles, maybe you wanted to do freckles like on your nose. gonna look kind of like that and you can add kind of an outline of where your hair is now but I'm gonna do that later so that I can do the color that I want and once you have your face you're gonna fold it into four sections so fold it once from over the top like that and then once the other way like that and once we have had it folded, we can go ahead and cut them into four squares. Once you are done with that, lay out all your faces, kind of mix them around. And that's whenever you're gonna bring this other paper in and put the face shape here. And once you have it in whatever order that you want, you're going to get your glue stick and glue the entire sheet of paper so that nothing is coming up and you have all four corners down on the paper. Once you have all four pieces glued down, it should look something like this. 
where you can see where our eyes are now in two different places. There is no symmetry here anymore. The lips are all wonky. And we have these little pieces sticking out on the side. We can just cut those off. So that we don't get glue all over our table. And then once you have all four glued down, we can go ahead and start with our colors. I have our primary colors, yellow, red, and blue. So blue, red, and yellow. And we have our secondary colors, green, purple, and orange. And I'm gonna go ahead and start coloring it and I will 